secured in the Lord. Amen. I want you to set your heart apart for him this morning. God is here to do a new thing in your life. Praise the Lord. Shall we be outstanding? Lift up your voice and begin to thank God. Just thank God. You are not there, Radiasi. And then commit yourself into the hands of the Lord. Lift it up unto Him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Catch the Radiasi, Radi, and open so me will win him. I am here to be blessed of thee. Lord, I am in your presence. I am in your presence, O God. I am in your presence, O God. I am in your presence, O God. Yes, Lord, touch my life. Touch my life. Touch my life. Touch my life. We are in to have an encounter with God. We are in to have fellowship with God. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Catch the radisa no pay for answer coming. Lord, touch my life. Lord, touch my life. Lord, touch my life. A pam crafu yame, Ponsa Kami. A pam crafu, and we would have a pam crafu, and we would Yes, 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 Hallelujah For the last time, tell God that God pour out your grace upon my life. This is our covenant service. Pour your heart unto him. Ask him the Lord. Pour out your grace. Your grace. Your grace. Your grace. Your grace. Yes, Lord. Your grace. Let your grace be sufficient. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. We bless your name that you are here with us. This is our second service. We know that, Lord, you are here already to touch our lives, to transform our lives. Because we know with you on our side, we can smile at every storm. We honor you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep clapping for Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. You want to just lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Just bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice and just bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank Bless the name Jesus. of the Lord. You, Lord. 
Lift your voice and glorify the Lord. Thank give him all Jesus. the praise. Thank give him all the honor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You, Lord, none compares unto you, O God. Rate Vada Bazika da Bazianda da 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 ba Kavara da da Bazianda da 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 ba Rata da Bazika da Bazipa da da Bazipa da 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 ba Lift your voice and just glorify the Lord. Just glorify the Lord in the name of Jesus. Glorify the Lord. Glorify the Lord. Glorify the Lord. They carry the Zaba da 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 ba. Lepa da Bazika da Bazipa da 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 ba Kavara da 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 ba. It's all about you, Lord. It's all about but it's all about you, Lord. We glorify you. We magnify you. We honor you, God, in the name of Jesus. We deserve all the glory, Lord. Hallelujah. it out to the Lord one more time, one more time out to the Lord say to me a word day yes I a word day I want a word day and you know I want a word day I soon pray a word day oh 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 Yes, Lift it up to the Lift it up to the Lord. Lift it up to the Lord. Yes, way. Yes, way. Yes, way. Yes, way. Lift it one more time out to the Lord. One more time and cry out to Him. Say, Yes, way. 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 To the Lord and cry it out to the Lord and say, Yes, you are. Just lift it out to the Lord, lift it out to the Lord. Let your worship rise out to the Lord. I say, I say, 
Say out to the Lord this morning. Oh yeah, can I say? I was a sinner, so yeah. Oh yeah, can I say? I was a sinner, so oh. My sin is a miami. Oh yeah, can I say? Oh yeah, can I say? Magnify your name. We magnify your name. We worship you. We worship. We magnify your name. We magnify your name. Jesus. Celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to sing some praises unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord this morning. Are you ready? May you Yeshua yeah, what all the other me, what my departure me, may you na ye da. May you Yeshua yeah, what all the other me, what my departure me, may you na ye da. May you 
Yesu wa ye wa do ti ado mi wa ma de pa ti me me yi na ye da Yesu wa ye wa do ti ado mi wa ma de pa ti me Testimony Yes, Mario. Yes, <laughs> Praise the 
Lord. And this one, I command my mouth to praise the Lord. I command my mouth to praise the Lord. I command my shout to praise the Lord. I command my praise to get to the Lord. Say, now, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That last one. I command my body to praise the Lord. 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 Say, body, praise the Lord. 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 Give a shout to Jesus. Hallelujah. You want to take your seat, faith? You want to take your seat, faith? Hallelujah. Enemy <laughs> And then I don't see Say, <laughs> Nancy, why are the enough for food? The shabby enough was the upon a mini. Why are the enough for food? Was the summer one summer seven? Hey, one mama come to me. All together, let's sing a tune. Everybody, I'm your butter, your butter, me me feel you now. Yeah, that was so. Everybody, I'm your. Everybody, I'm your butter, your butter, me me feel you. Let us be so grateful to us. Say, hey. Oh, 
Gradually, we are, great, we are getting there. Hallelujah. Amen. This also shall come to pass. Say amen. Amen. You must welcome once again to the presence of God. This month is a month of affirming God's covenant with us. Saying yes to everything that he has said to us. And I believe his word of promise will be established in our lives. Say amen. Amen. Thank God for being part of the second service. Keep on serving God and doing what God wants you to do. Say amen. Amen. Will you be on your feet as you take your Bible? Take your Bible and let me see your Bible. I say your Bible, not your iPad, not your phone. Lift it up, lift it up, let me see. Wonderful, wonderful. Amen. Amen. Say with me, this is the word of God. This is the word of God. It is a living word. It is a living word. It is active. It is active. And full of power. And full of power. It is operative. It is operative. Energizing. Energizing. And effective. And effective. It is sharper. It is sharper than any two edges sword. Than any two edges sword. Penetrating. Penetrating. As far as. As far as. The division of the soul and the spirit. The division of the soul and the spirit. And of both the joints. And of both the joints. And the marrow. And the marrow. The deepest part of my nature. The deepest part of my nature. It exposes. It exposes. And judges. And judges. My very thoughts. My very thoughts. And intentions of my heart. And intentions of my heart. I'm about to hear the word of God. I'm about to hear the word of God. I will accept it. I will accept it. I will believe it. I will believe it. And I believe. And I believe. It shall accomplish. It shall accomplish. What it says. What it says. It shall accomplish. It shall accomplish. In my life. In my life. I will. I will. Be a doer. Be a doer. Of the word of God. Of the word of God. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You are blessed to be in the presence of God. I thought you'd be coming, you'd be able to say amen better than we're doing. Amen. Because of the nose marks and the mouth marks and the chin marks, difficult to say anything. I say you are blessed. Say amen. Amen. We give God the praise. Amen. Shall we pray, Spirit of God? Grant me your trance once again, O God. Bless your people by your word, O Lord. Thank you for being here with us and taking over every aspect of the service. I give you praise for the trance that you've given to me. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are affirming God's covenant with us. God has entered into a covenant with us. 
Bible says, without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the greater. So if God comes into covenant with us, it means that we are blessed indeed. I want us to open our Bibles and get to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 9. The Bible says, Know therefore that the Lord thy God, no, look at somebody and say, no, no, no. The Bible says those that know, they that know their God, they that know their God. I pray that today you have a revelational knowledge of God Almighty. No, therefore, that the Lord your God. How many of you know your God? Are you sure? Do you believe in him? Do you trust him? Is he your God? What is his name? Hallelujah. Amen. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God. Can you believe that? He is what? God. The Lord your God, the Lord that you are serving, he is God. God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy. He keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. How many of you love God? Wow. I'm watching. How many of you love God? Are you sure about that? Let me see your hand if you love God. Wonderful. The Bible says, they that love this God, God is able to keep covenant and mercy with them. Even to a thousand generations, I speak over your life that whatever you're doing for God, whatever investment you're making for God, even, even at this point in time, you are not seeing many, many things that are supposed to be seen. May you understand and may you acknowledge one thing that the generations after you, your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, because of your investment and because of your covenant, that God has with you, they will be blessed. They will be blessed. Are you hearing me? Because God is able to give a covenant with his people even to a thousand generations. If Jesus happens to keep long in coming, say yes, your children, your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, they will never suffer. Amen. Those who say amen, let it be so. Amen. Are you hearing me? Because God is a covenant keeping God. God is a, a covenant keeping God. And, and we are supposed to affirm whatever covenant that he has entered into with us. Those who are able to go to the fountain of uh, life this morning, I wanted to read the, the memory verse. Just read it for me in the NIV version. Read it for me. And the devotion, no, memory verse, no. How many of you have been reading this fountain of life? Let me see your hand. You've been studying every morning. Let me see your hand. Seriously. May God help you to study it every day. Say amen. Amen. Pastor Prince, read that for me. Um, I'm reading from first, Second Corinthians 1 20. It is a simple, it's a simple passage that we all know. And it says, For no matter how many promises God has made, no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. They are yes. Come on, help me say 
They are yes. They are yes. Say they are yes. They are in who? In Christ. Our Christ. Our Christ. They are yes. They are in Christ. Our Christ. Glory to God. Amen. I love this scripture. Amen. No matter the number of promises God has made for you and to you. They are yes in Christ. Oh, Christ. And continue for me. And so through him, the amen is spoken by us. And so through him, and I'm through the Christ, and I'm Christ also, the amen, amen is spoken by us. Are you hearing me? So whatever promises that God has made unto us, they are in Christ. And they are supposed to be spoken. The finality of it, the amen of it, must be spoken by us. We must say, amen to whatever God has said. I came to let somebody know that whatever covenant that God has entered into with you, into with you they are in Christ Jesus. And all that you need to say is, yes. Can somebody say yes? Can somebody say amen? Amen. Whatever you are believing God for, that has been promised in the Bible, or God has said to you, may you shout amen. Believe it. Believe it. I said, say, say yes. Amen. In Jesus' name. Oh, yes. Somebody shout a big yes. Amen. Shout a big amen. What does amen mean? So shall it be. Amen. So whatever you have said, whatever that is in your mind in your heart concerning God's promises by the fact that he's entered into covenant with you this morning it is established I say it is established how many believe it I ask of God the Father that in the name of Jesus whether it's healing that you need whether it's any breakthrough that you need marital issues may God's word be established and may I say amen to it in Jesus name God is a God that keepeth covenant with his people and he will surely keep his covenant with you because he is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent whatever he says he is able to do it he is the great I am he is the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end all power is in his hands he holds all power in his hands this is the God that you must say yes to now, last week I started to talk to you about the Noahic covenant. Let's go to the, the book of Genesis. Because there were many covenants that God entered into, entered into with his people. An agreement that he came into with, with his people. Noah had a covenant with God. Genesis chapter 6. Are you there with me? And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth. Can you believe that? God himself comes and says, I will destroy people. Because all power belongs to him. This very life that we have belongs to God. If after one day God says, I take away your breath, everything is gone. How many are getting what I'm saying? So the Lord came to Noah and said, Noah, I'm going to destroy man from, from the face of the earth. Uh, the men that I've created, I, I'm destroying them all. Both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. Yehovah. Say Yehovah. Yehovah. Say forgive. Then go to eight. Go to eight. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. 
in this period of pandemic Stop when it. the whole world has become so destructive and everything is getting out of hand may you and your family may you find grace I say may you find grace I say may you find grace in the sight and the eyes of the Lord now the next verse the, these are the generations of Noah Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations oh may God make you that just individual Amen. a righteous individual Amen. that is accepted even by God Amen. are you hearing me and the Bible says Noah was a just man he was a perfect man in his generation in your generation may, may you be set apart may you be make a different individual and Noah walk with God. Amen. Noah walk with God. In this time that many, many people are confused. May you walk with God. In the morning, may you walk with God. In the afternoon, may you walk with God. In the evening, may you walk with God. In your office, may you walk with God. Because Bible says, if God is for me, then who can be against me? If I'm walking with God, who can be against me? May you be conscientized with the fact that at every point in time, God is with you. Ah. Ah. How many understand what I'm saying? When the convoy of the, of the, of the president is coming by and you are part of the convoy every other vehicle must give way. And they go at the top speed. In fact, if you don't give way, something dangerous will happen to you. But that is a human president. But if I am walking and driving with God Almighty, look at the host of angels that will be around when the Lord is moving with me. Are you hearing me? When I'm going to the office, I conscientize my mind to the fact that God is with me and the angels of God are just surrounding us and surrounding my vehicle. Wherever I find myself, God is with me. This week, may you walk with God. May God find his place in your life. In the name of Jesus. Practicalize God's word. Just put them into practice. Are you hearing me? You don't just read it. God is with me. Oh. You don't, you don't just practice it. You try to come to a place and say, if God is with me, the Bible says, I'll hold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Are you hearing me? That is what the Bible says. I am with you. So you practicalize it. You try to think and reason out. And as you walk, you say, I see myself, God holding my right hand. And he's walking with me. And so I cannot fall. Are you hearing me? So in, the, in my mind and in my spirit, I picture myself God holding me. And so if God says, I'm walking with you, wherever I'm going, I see God himself holding me and being with me. If God is with me, don't try. And so me here, Hey! I say, if God is with me, don't try. Look at somebody and say, if God is with you, nobody tries you anyhow. Are you hearing me? So, Noah, walk with God. This week is my prayer. That anybody that have even third eye, fourth eye, fifth eye when they see you they will know that god is working with you <laughs> how many i understand what i'm saying exactly Sir. exactly Sir. so think Please. let practice the word 
do the word work the word and walk the word that is all so go to 17 are you there and behold I even I if God comes and say I I, I am God hey. me I am God even I do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life from under heaven and everything that is in the earth shall die O oh, Yehovah O oh, Yehovah the next verse but with thee will I establish my covenant when God comes into covenant with you, you become a unique individual. You become a different person. Things may work against other people. The very things that are working against other people, the same thing may come against you. But because you have a covenant with God, you'll be separated. You have immunity. You have exemption. Are you hearing me, somebody? How many believe that word of God? But with thee, I will establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark. Thou and thy sons and thy wife, and thy son's wife with thee. What a good word. I'm going to destroy the whole earth. But as for you, your wife, your children, and their wives let them come into the ark and just be there because i have a covenant with you i came this morning to let somebody know there is no greater place of refuge that in christ jesus christ for the bible says all the promises that are of god they are in christ and so the day i gave my life to jesus jesus said I will ask the Father and I ask the Holy Ghost that we will come and make our abode in you. So as long as I have God the Father, as long as I have God the Son, as long as I have God the Holy Ghost, I am the embodiment of the Godhead. And because of that, I have security. I have refuge. Even in Christ Jesus. Why? Because Bible says, as for me, I have a better covenant than that of Noah. Noah entered into a made-up ark. But as for me, my life is hid in Christ and in God. My life is hid in Christ and in God. I am more secured. Hey! Amen. Hey! Hallelujah. I'm talking about covenant. Noah, I have a covenant with you. The world will grow some, through some turbulence. But as long as you are in the ark, including even animals, including even everything that you have, the, the, uh, and tetia, even those that enter the ark, they cannot be touched I came with the word of the Lord that we have a better covenant based on better promises and the promises are in Christ Jesus and we say amen to that and because our life is in Christ and the life of Christ is in God we are more than conquerors amen <laughs> How many believe it? When we talk about covenant, we are talking about the God that is behind the covenant. He is no ordinary God. He made the heavens and the earth. He speaks. 
and he walks on waters and the dead are able to be, be brought back to life he is able to speak to dead situations he's able to bring up when you read the bible you read the scripture this is the god we will get to that place this is the god that was able to separate his people from the egyptians whereas light was found in the land of age uh, in the land of the israelites darkness was somewhere, was somewhere separation was able to come even for the children of God in the midst of these trials may you be separated I say in the midst of these trials may you be set apart are you hearing me and the Bible says when God after he had destroyed the whole earth and he brought Noah and his children and his family out of the ark. God hid them in the ark. Protected them because he had a covenant with Noah. I came to let you know that you also God has a covenant with you. And God will protect you. Who will protect your family. Who will deliver you from evil. But it's your, it's your call even to make affirmation and say, if God has said it, yes, I believe it. Amen. So when God brought Noah out of the ark, then he went to Noah. After Noah had presented a good sacrifice. In the midst of crisis, these are the times that you have to do a lot of sacrifice. How many are getting what I'm saying? These are the times that you have to sow certain kind of big seeds and say, God, this is it. I'm trusting you. Because the unbelievers will tell you, oh, this is not a time you have to talk about money, talk about certain things. But let them tell you, what pertains to God, the terms and the structures of God are made different from the worldly system. And after he had made a sacrifice, God came to uh, Noah and he said, Noah, I'm also getting into a covenant with you once again. Because I have a covenant with you. Because of what you have done. Because of you. Because of you. And because of what you have done. I'm not going to destroy the world again by flood. How many want to see this type of covenant coming to you, affecting your family, affecting everything? that because of you because of what you have done for me because of your commitment to the things of God the Lord comes to you and says because of you this is what I'm going to do and he said I'm not going to destroy the world with flood again and I'm going to put a ball in the sky and any time that there is cloud and uh, it's about to rain and when I see the ball, I will not do what I'm supposed to do, even by causing flood, even to destroy the world again. How many of you have seen some, some rainbow before? Is it beautiful? Is it good? It's nice. It was because of one man's relationship with God. Because of God coming into a covenant with one individual. May God's covenant with you. Ten generations, even that has been suffering from certain things, may it be turned around because of you. I want to say because of me and God's covenant with me. May generational curses. I want to be broken. May generational curses I want to be broken. Are you hearing me? Because now I have a better covenant. God entered into covenant with Noah. And he established his word. 
This is my prayer for you. That God's covenant with you will turn things around. Will change situations. And what is said about generations that have come and gone in your in your family background. And it's still taking place because of God's covenant with you. Through you. And I'm also by you. And I'm through you. And I'm also by you. And I'm also through you. And I'm also by you. And I'm also may that curse be broken. May that curse be broken. May that curse be broken. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Are you hearing me, somebody? Tell me, Niobe. That is your portion. I know, Chefan. That is your portion. I know, Chefan. I say that is your portion. I know, Chefan. Because of God's covenant with you. If today you are fair, so basically, God's covenant. You speak to God. Say, Father. You've spoken to me. And this is what you have said. I believe it. I take it. I claim it. Are you hearing me? I take it. And I walk in it. And I speak it into my life. Then you say to yourself, This is what God has said about me. I claim it. I walk in it. I take it. Then you look at the devil. And the demonic world. And you speak to them. Listen to me. That say the word of the Lord. This is what God says I am. You cannot destroy my life. If you walk by that. Affirming. The covenant relationship with God. God. God will establish his word in your life. This week, go out there. Affirm God's word. Affirm God's promises. Don't talk the way the world is talking. Amen. Are you hearing me? Don't talk the way the world is talking. I told you on Friday, like, like Pastor Joe said, now they are saying that this virus has so, been released into the atmosphere. Even yes. whilst you are walking around, so it's said, there. And now from um, And so, even if you are sleeping, you must put on the nose mask. The world that cry was so shit, the nose mask. And the worst part of it is that even if you are sleeping with your wife, still put on the nose mask. Where are we going to? Affirm God's covenant with you. And say to yourself, I will obey all the protocols. I will do everything. But my refuge, my protection is in Christ. And my life is hid in Christ and in God. And like Noah was protected, may you receive that protection. May your family receive that protection. May your business receive that protection. May everything around you, may you receive that protection because of the covenant relationship will you be on your feet. Glory to God. Amen. Second service, people are more yeah, too gentle. First service for no more money at you. First service, woman yeah, ding, chunk on my bombs and book and some bobby across the canyon. Second service for more too gentle. I'm the only agent. First service, woman agent to grow. <laughs> the Lord is with you. Don't be afraid. It's true. The Lord is with you. The Lord will save us. The Lord will deliver us. The Lord, at the end of the day, the glory of the Lord will be our portion. As you walk through life in this period, the same God that protected Noah and his family understand that you have a covenant with God. All that you have to do, walk with God. Be just. Find grace in the sight of God. And everything will work for you. For the Bible says, Bible says all things work together for our good. I speak of unto your life. At the end of this period, all that we are going through, victory. 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 I say victory shall be our portion. We will not die. We will live and declare the words of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Will you close your eyes? Give praise to God. Thank Him. 
for giving you the grace to have a covenant with him. Thank him. Thank you. Thank you. Bless him for your covenant. Thank you. Oh, we honor you, Lord God Almighty. You are all that we have. Thank you for your covenant with us. We have a covenant with you through Jesus Christ our Lord. And we say yes to your promises. We say yes to your covenant with us. Receive the glory, O God. Receive the praise, O God. We love you, Jesus. We love you. In the name of Jesus. We love you. This morning, if you don't know Jesus, you want to give your life to Jesus. Wherever you are. Will you lift up your right hand? You want Jesus in your life? Lift up your right hand. Father God, I thank you for the lives of your people. Amen. I pray that from this day, all that we will be able to understand and do is to acknowledge the fact that you have a covenant with us. Amen. A covenant that will cause our protection, Amen. our deliverance, up every provision, every pro progress that we need in our lives. Amen. Let faith arise in the hearts of your people today. That having us, we will move out of this place wherever we may find ourselves. We will come to understand one thing that, oh God Almighty, you are with us. Amen. You will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Thank you for this covenant. I give you praise, I give you glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for today. And the radius of man, eh? Will you get seated, please? God bless you. Gradually, we are getting there. Gradually, this also shall come to pass. Are you hearing me? Amen. Be yourself. Put your trust in God. Yeah, Have like confidence you. in God. Now we're That's all that you need. Amen. Amen. And do what everybody is doing. For example, put on those marks, doing whatever you're supposed to do. But your faith and your trust is in Jehovah. Those Hallelujah. Just yes. come to church. Every time you're supposed to come, come. I can assure you there is much refuge in the house of God. Are you hearing me? Amen. God bless you for coming today. We love you and we love you so much. God bless you. Amen. 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 Put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. We have an anchor. That keeps the soul oh, oh. steadfast and sure. Why don't you wave your hands unto the Lord? Is that your confession? Affirm it. Affirm it. Fast into the rock which cannot move. Ground that firm and deep in the Savior. We have an uncle. We have an uncle that keeps the soul. Shall we have standing? We want to bring our offering. Fast and show, pass the beat. Your offering bowls are all over. Fast into the rock which cannot move. Do you believe it? In the Savior, we have an uncle. We have an uncle. Oh, keep the soul. Oh, self possession. What a beautiful world. We are fasting to the rock. That keeps the soul. Is 
Stand for your confession. Stand for the show of the Beatles road. We are fasting to the Lord, which can Give a shout unto the Lord. Give a shout unto the Lord. Hallelujah. You are blessed. Just look at somebody and tell the person you are blessed. With all your nose marks, you are blessed. With all your beautiful uh, face marks, you are blessed. With your shells, you are blessed. Hallelujah. What are we telling the Apostle of God this morning? Bless you, more grace, more oil. It's our month of affirming God's covenant. Hallelujah. So we are going to give a resounding yes to the promises of God. Amen. Whose report will you believe? We will believe the report of God. Amen. Hallelujah. You cannot be touched. Praise the Lord. You are more than a conqueror. In him. Amen. God bless you for coming. We are so proud of you. You belong to one big family. The family of Jesus Christ. This is the praise sanctuary family. We want to encourage you that we are back. Amen. Tell all the friends and the loved ones. Tell a friend to tell a friend that everything is going on. Our journey with the king on, his king, on the king's business is moving on. Amen. In the Ohini Nejumano, Egusua, yeah, yeah. Now, you say, you crying, you can't and you can't suffer, you can't suffer, you can't suffer, you can't suffer, you cell meetings, the home cell meetings, will take it very serious. Amen. You can't come to fair service. Say a free a few fifty as here and she says us up on the cell. If you are not part of the cell, if you are not in, you are out. Praise the Lord. Are you in? Are you in the ark? Praise the Lord. If you are not in, you are out. So we want to encourage all of us to be part of the cell meeting. Your cell meetings are according to Tuesdays. Let's all be part. That is where we do everything. We meet together, we pray together, we encourage ourselves, we do church there. Amen. Because we are not in normal times. We expect all the business will go on there. All leaders, our evangelism, our outreach programs, and everything. It should be pursued over there. Amen. Wednesday. It should be pursued over there. Amen. Wednesday, we are having our stand in the garden. How many know that because of the covenant there is a need for prayer? We don't enforce covenant blessings anyhow. It is affirmed and endorsed through prayer. Amen. Through prayer. Into Wednesdays, anyway, we are here. And then on Fridays, we are also here for hour of divine openings. Don't miss any of the services. This month is a month of having covenant services. We are praying. We don't want to take any of our services for granted. We pray, we wait on God, and we come here and we minister together, and then we join hands together in prayer. Be here. Come here. This is a place of refuge. Amen. Medical team phone in Naramushia Dikin Asante. All medical team members. Mushia Dikin Asante. Amen. If you brought your tithes, you can go to the back there and see the finance team. Amen. Then we have our own Momo numbers. If you want to do your thanksgiving, offerings, any other thing, please. Whatever you are doing, if you want to give a seed or other things, it can be sent through the Momo. Amen. I told the morning service people, maybe when you were coming here, you were rushing. You left your seat for it at home. Immediately, immediately you go. Amen. 
Oh, no, Akofa, no, Mumu. Amen. Mumu, the time be any who. Praise the Lord. There is nothing like fellow Ghanaians or Mumu. Amen. And so please be reminded. Do all the things that you are supposed to do. And the Lord will honor his word in your life. Amen. P.S. Talk is coming on Wednesday. And every Wednesday, 7 to 8, immediately after standing in the gap, P.S. Talk will be broadcast live. Friday midnight prayer. Friday midnight prayer is coming on 12 to 1 a.m. 12 to 1 a.m. The midnight prayer is coming on is on Zoom. Amen. And so the ID, the password is on. Bomodia Unimia, Bomodiama, Obano AOJ Chesano, and press and press amount. Amen. Amen. The hands of a press amount. Now, what's setting up amount? No, I join it. Just one hour midnight prayer. And Kaya Hose Ebebaso this week as well. Unyami Inshrao. Amen. Unyami Tine Nimunshrao. Amen. Unyami Kom, one on Kam. Amen. Yes, sorry. Mon Sasso, Abra Papa Israel. On your mere two million an idea. Now, on your raw per more. On new Yamon. A Sambia Waka for home now, what you waste and what say your dear. O Mano and your chaffa. I will yes to Christo Demo. Now, what you wait on for will see on for Bushy and see. On for what you may see, what you know, and then Catasoma. Now, what you weigh in Shira and Cosmo, Hunim Dia, and Anya Chefa, and we use Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's share the grace together. And the grace, the grace of, of our Jesus Lord Christ. Jesus Christ. The love, of the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever god bless you see you on wednesday see you on friday and be part of the home cell god bless you all amen medical team members you are kindly requested to meet deacon asante Medical team for Nina, nurses, and everybody involved. God bless you.